Good morning, everyone. I would like to take this moment to welcome all of you to the chapel of Our Lady of the Rosary Cathedral. Today is Tuesday of the Holy Week. We come before God knowing that God is always present in our life, always wanting to help us. And so we place ourselves in the presence of God. We take a comfortable seat, preparing our minds and hearts to welcome Christ more fully in this Holy Eucharist. Buenos dias a todos. Quiero tomar este momento antes de, antes de que la misa comience. De dar la bienvenida a todos ustedes. Hoy es el martes santos de la Semana Santa. Queremos levantar nuestro alma, nuestro ser y toda nuestra fuerza a Dios. En esta Santa Eucaristía vamos a abrir nuestro hogar y nuestro corazón a Dios. Piden que Dios venga a nosotros. Y al mismo tiempo vamos a buscar un lugar cómodo. Un lugar que nos ayuda de celebrar dignamente este santo, santa y día. Vamos a ponernos en la presencia de Dios. The Mass today will be celebrated by Father Duong Nguyen. El celebrante de esta misa es Padre Duong Nguyen. We will begin our Mass this morning by singing uh, the song, You Are Mine, You Are Mine. <clears throat> I will come to you in the silence. I will lift you from all your fears. You will hear my voice, I claim you as my choice, be still and know I am near. I am hope for all who are hopeless, I am eyes for all long to see. In the shadows of the night, I will be your light. Come and rest in me. Do not be afraid, I am with you. 
I have called you each by name. Come and follow me. I will bring you home. I love you and you are mine. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, God has a plan for you. And God is inviting each one of us today to fulfill that plan that He has for us. Hermanos y hermanas, Dios tiene, tiene un plan por ustedes hoy. Y nosotros necesitamos cumplir y responder a a este plan de Dios por nosotros hoy. But there are time and moments in which we have not been faithful to fulfilling God's will. Let us acknowledge all our weaknesses as well as our sins as we prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly seen in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and in what I failed to do, through my faults, through my faults, through my most grievous faults. Therefore I ask, blessed Mary of her virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Señor ten piedad. Señor ten piedad. Cristo ten piedad. Cristo ten piedad. Señor ten piedad. Señor ten piedad. Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, grant us so to celebrate the mysteries of the Lord's passion, that we may merit to receive your pardon. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Hear me, O islands, listen, O distant peoples. The Lord called me from birth, from my mother's womb, he gave me my name. He made of me a sharp-edged sword and concealed me in the shadow of his arm. He made me a polished arrow in his quiver he hide me. You are my servant, he said to me, Israel, through whom I saw my glory. Though I thought I had toiled in vain and for nothing uselessly spent my strength, yet my reward is with the Lord, my recompense is with my God. For now the Lord has spoken, who formed me as his servant from the womb, that Jacob may be brought back to him and Israel gathered to him. And I am made glorious in the sight 
of the Lord. And my God is now my strength. It is too little, he says, for you to be my servant, to raise up the tribes of Jacob and restore the survivors of Israel. I will make you a lie to the nations that my salvation may reach to the ends of the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response real sound. I will sing of your salvation. I will sing of your salvation. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your justice, rescue me and deliver me. In plain your ear to me and save me. I will sing of your salvation. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. For you are my rock and my fortress. O oh my God, rescue me from the hand of the wicked. I, I will sing, sing of, of your, your salvation. salvation. For you are my hope, O Lord, my trust, O God, from my youth. On you I depend from birth. From my mother's womb, you are my strength. I, I will sing of your salvation. My mouth shall declare your justice, day by day your salvation. O God, you have taught me from my youth and till the present I proclaim your wondrous deeds. I will, I will sing, sing of your, your salvation. salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Hail to you, our King, obedient to the Father. You were led to your crucifixion like a gentle lamb to the slaughter. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Reclining at table with his disciples, Jesus was deeply troubled and testified. Amen, amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me. The disciples looked at one another, at a loss as to whom he meant. One of his disciples, the one whom Jesus loved, was reclining at Jesus' side. So Simon Peter nodded to him to find out whom he meant. He leaned back against Jesus' chest and said to him, Master, who is it? Jesus answered, It is the one to whom I hand the morsel after I have dipped it. So he dipped the morsel and took it and handed to Judas, son of Simon the Iscariot. After Judas took the morsel, Satan entered him. So Jesus said to him, What you are going to do, do quickly. Now none of those reclining at table realized why he had said this to him. Some thought 
that since Judas kept the money back, Jesus had told him, buy what we need for the feast, or to give something to the poor. So Judas took the morsel and left at once, and it was night. When he has left, Jesus said, Now is the Son of Man glorified, and God is glorified in him. If God glorify in him, God will also glorify him in himself, and he will glorify him at once. My children, I will be with you only a little while longer. You will look for me and ask, I told the Jews, where I go, you cannot come. So now I say to you, Simon Peter said to him, Master, where are you going? Jesus answered him, where I am going, you cannot follow, follow me now, though you will follow later. Peter said to him, Master, why can I not follow you now? I will lay down my life for you. Jesus answered, Will you lay down your life for me? Amen, amen, I say to you, the cock will not crow before you de deny me three times. En aquel tiempo, cuando Jesús estaba a la casa con sus discípulos, se conmovió profundamente y declaró, Yo les aseguro que uno de ustedes me va a entregar. Los discípulos se miraron perplejos unos a otros, porque no sabían de quién hablaba. Uno de ellos, al que Jesús tanto amaba, se hallaba reclinado a su derecha. Simón Pedro le hizo una seña y le preguntó, ¿De quién lo dice? Entonces él, apoyándose en el pecho de Jesús, le preguntó, Señor, ¿Quién es? Le contestó Jesús, Aquel a quien yo le dé este trozo de pan que voy a mojar. Mojó el pan y se lo, se lo dio a Judas, hijo de Simón el Iscariote. Y tras el bocado entró en el Satanás. Jesús le dijo entonces a Judas. Lo que tiene que hacer, hazlo pronto. Pero ninguno de los comensales entendió a qué se refería. Algunos supusieron que, como Judas tenía a su cargo la, la bolsa, Jesús le había encomendado comprar lo necesario para la fiesta o da algo a los pobres. Judas, después de tomar el bocado, salió inmediatamente. Era de noche. Una vez que Judas se fue, Jesús dijo, Ahora ha sido glorificado el Hijo de Hombre, y Dios ha sido glorificado en él. Si Dios ha sido glorificado en él, también Dios lo glorificará en sí mismo y pronto lo glorificará. Hijitos, todavía estaré un poco con ustedes. Me buscarán, pero como les dije a los judíos, así se lo digo a ustedes ahora. A donde yo voy, ustedes no pueden ir. Simón Pedro le dijo, Señor, ¿a dónde vas? Jesús le respondió, ¿a dónde yo voy? 
No me puedes seguir ahora. Me seguirás más tarde. Pedro replicó, Señor, ¿por qué no puedo seguirte ahora? Yo daré mi vida por ti. Jesús le contestó, ¿con qué darás tu vida por mí? Yo te aseguro que no cantará el gallo antes de que me hayas negado tres veces. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. God has a divine plan for you. God has a plan for you today. Are you fulfilling God's plan within your life? In the first reading today, God's plan is revealed to Isaiah. Right at the beginning of his life, from his mother's wounds, God called him. Even though in difficult times, he felt he had toiled in vain and for nothing uselessly spent his strength. Even though in time of uncertainty, Isaiah was fulfilling his calling as a servant and prophet of God. That was God's plan for Isaiah. But in the gospel today, we get a bigger picture. A picture of God's plan for all humanity. And God's plan is being revealed slowly in the story of Jesus, who is dining with his disciples. The conversation around this dinner was about who was going to betray Jesus. Many of us know through the story that it was Judas. Judas was someone close to Jesus. Judas was a friend. Judas was a companion. Yet Judas became part of God's plan, leading ultimately Jesus to his passion, death, and resurrection. And through that death and resurrection, we are saved. And so God's divine plan of salvation is for all of us. My question today is that, what is God's plan for you today? I might not know what God's plan for you is today, but my goal for today is to be, faith, to be a faithful servant of God trying to do my best to fulfill God's will in my life today at this moment in time of pandemic. I will also look into my heart to forgive those who have betrayed me, those who have hurt me, those who caused me to anger, those who caused me to resent. Because through that gospel, we hear of Judas' betrayal. I learn to forgive. And lastly, I will contemplate on this day, on this Holy Tuesday of the Holy Week, the mystery of God's love and his plan of salvation for me and for the world. So today, let us ask ourselves, are we fulfilling God's plan? Are we fulfilling God's will? so that our plan become part of God's plan of salvation for us. At this moment now, while I will be speaking in Spanish in a, few, in a few words, I ask all of you to take this moment to write down who is it in your life that you need to forgive? Who is it in your life that you seek forgiveness now? It could be God, a friend, or many other people. Take this time so that I may share 
my reflect my humbly in Spanish. Dios tiene un, di, un plan divino para usted. Dios tiene un plan por usted hoy. ¿Estás cumpliendo el plan de Dios en su vida? En la primera lectura de hoy, Dios tiene un plan por Isa, Isaías. Escuchamos que Dios lo llamó desde el comienzo de su vida. Desde el vientre, el vientre de su madre. Escuchamos también hay momentos en que él siente muy difícil la dificultad en su vida. Él dijo, en vano me he cansado. Inútil, inútilmente he cansado. Gastado mi fuerza. En realidad, mi causa estaba en manos del Señor. Mi recompensa la tenía mi Dios. Pero también, aunque hay momentos de incertidumbre en su vida, Isaías siempre está cumpliendo el plan de Dios de ser un siervo y un profeta de Dios. Ese fue un plan de Dios para Isaías. En el Evangelio nosotros podríamos ver un plan más grande, un plan de salvación. Y este plan de salvación está como manifestando a nosotros poco a poco a través de la historia de Jesús cenando con sus discípulos. La conversación en esta escena fue la historia de traición. Escuchamos o entendemos a través del evangelio que el foco fue de Judas. Él, él fue un amigo de Jesús, un compañero, una persona que está seca, estaba seca con Jesús. Pero él traicionó a Jesús. Pero nosotros podríamos, a través de lo que está pasando en la cena, nosotros podríamos ver el plan de salvación de Dios está revolándose lentamente en esta en este Semana Santa. Por eso hoy, en este día, ¿qué es el plan de Dios? Por ti hoy. ¿Qué vas a hacer? No estoy seguro de su plan, del plan de Dios por pues ustedes en su casa, en su lugar. Por mi parte, mi meta de hoy es ser fiel, ser un, un, ser un siervo fiel a Dios. Y voy a tratar lo que es lo que yo pueda hacer a cumplir la voluntad de Dios. Cumplir el plan de Dios para mí hoy. Lo que está presente en mi vida. Voy a también mirar mi corazón. A perdonar a los que los. A los que han, me han traicionado. Los que me han lastimado. Los que me han causado el enojo, la ira o resentimiento en mi corazón. Voy a perdonarlo. Últimamente voy a contemplar en este martes santos el misterio de el, mis, el misterio de del plan divino de Dios, un plan de salvación a todos nosotros. Vamos hoy a contemplar en este misterio que Dios siempre les bendiga. En el nombre del Padre, del Hijo y del Espíritu Santo. Amén.
my brothers and sisters, in this time of the Lord's Passion, when Christ offered prayers and supplication to his Father, with loud cries and tears, let us humbly beseech God that in answer to his Son's reverent submission, we may in mercy hear our prayers also. For La Ecclesia, that the Church, the, the Bride of Christ, may be more fully cleansed by his blood in this time of his passion, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For La Paz, that through the blood of Christ's cross, all things in the world may be brought to peace for the sake of salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Por los enfermos y también a los que se encuentran en momentos difíciles. That God may grant fortitude and patience to all who through sickness or hardship have a share in Christ's passion. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Por todos nosotros. That we may all be led through the Lord's passion and cross to the glories of his resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We offer the intention of this Mass for Eutimio Ochoa and Luz Cosi. For their eternal rest, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We take this moment of silence to offer all our petition to God as well all those that have been asking us to pray through our internet page or other means to communicate within our church. We take this moment to bring all these prayer to God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Be present, O Lord, to your people at prayer, so that what they do not have the confidence or presumption to ask, they may obtain by the merits of your son's passion, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and works of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, works of human hands, it will